Hey guys, it's Sarah, and I'm about to get started on my Sketches in Time design team sketch for um, January. So this is the sketch here. This is by Brunshiva. So this is a sketch I'm going to be using, and this has a really large photo on it. I'm going to use a large photo, but I'm going to have it be a different landscape. Um, it's going to be this one here. So instead of horizontal, it's going to be vertical, but this is my husband and I at a Christmas party when we lived in Tucson, and I wanted to do a page to go in his Air Force album about this because he actually helped to plan this party, and he did that a lot when we were in Tucson, so that's kind of something I want to document, and since it is a Christmassy type layout, I'm going to be using my November hip kit, and these are um, all Christmas and winter type stuff. Sorry, my kids are home and they're playing. Um, so this is what I'm going to be using. This is the picture and the sketch, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, so I am going to go ahead and get my kit out of the bag. This is actually the first time I'm using this kit. I've used little elements here and there from this little die cut pack in my December daily, but everything else has been untouched so far. So I'm going through the pattern papers here and I'm gonna pick out a few that I want to layer up and I'm just kind of grabbing whatever catches my eye. I really like those trees and then the blue with the stars on it and I grab this gray snowflake one. And then I also grab a cut apart sheet and then I had another one that had just a striped pattern on it. So I'm going to go through here and decide that I'm going to make this one with the blue stars on it, the my background paper, and that is from Hip Kit. And then I'm gonna use this crepe paper with the trees on it, and I'm going to cut that down as kind of a bigger layer back here, and then I will put my picture on top of this gray snowflake, which is also from Hip Kit, and I'm gonna use that to kind of mat my picture. And then I am also going to use this striped one right here just to make one stripe that is represented in the sketch, and I'm going to uh, use that for that. And then I'm gonna use a piece from this cut apart. I'm gonna use this little mason jar down on the bottom that has like Christmas trees and stuff in it, and I'm going to use that in place of the tag that is on the sketch as well. And that cut apart sheet is from Crate Paper. All right, so. Those are gonna be my layers here, and I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges of some of them a little bit. I'm going to use some Distress Ink and in Broken China. This is from Tim Holtz. And I'm going to use this just to ink the edges of my papers, just to make them all a little bit cohesive and give that little bit of separation to um, kind of help distinguish them when I put them down all together. And I'm using my little mini blender tool, which I love. And so I like the way that that looks. And I'm going to go ahead and put my layers down because I know basically since I'm doing the sketch, I pretty much know where everything is gonna be going. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So that's gonna be kind of like a little grounding spot for my picture and my embellishments. So the only one that I did not ink was the gray snowflake because I feel like the color was enough of a contrast. I didn't feel like I needed the um, the ink around it. Okay, so I'm going to use one of these little paper clips here from Crate Paper. However, they're really, really thick and I don't want a lot of dimension. I don't use a lot of dimension on my scrapbooks at all. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take off the paper clip on the back and I had to kind of rustle it a little bit, but I got the paper clip off and then I'm going to use my Tim Holtz tonic scissors here and I'm going to cut off kind of the thicker part of it where the clip was held because I don't really need that. So it's just going to help it lie a little bit flatter. And it's still pretty dimensional. It's a um, pretty thick puffy image but I just didn't want it quite as big. And now I'm going to go ahead and look through these die cut pack here. This is from Hip Kit. And I'm pulling out a few things here and there, a couple snowflakes, a bird, the word Christmas, and then I have a couple of little phrases here. And I'm going to use that frame as well. 
and then I'm just checking to make sure there's nothing else in here I want to use, but I think that's all I end up using. Oh, I grabbed one more tree um, to kind of help the layers on the bottom there. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this back because that's all I want to use on it. So I'm going to go ahead and layer up that tag or the frame, sorry, right behind my mason jar there. I'm going to put the snowflakes around the picture. I'm going to cut off a little bit here because um, that's just going to go underneath the picture there. And I'm going to use my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive to go ahead and put that down. I'm just going to layer it right behind. And then I have this bird here, which is really cute. And I like that it's um, kind of almost looking at my husband and I. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and put this down. And like I said, this is kind of in place of the tag that is on the sketch. And then I have this other snowflake that I'm going to go ahead and put down on the other side here. And then I'm going to use some glue dots and put down that puffy tree as well. And that little pink tag there says celebrate the season. And then I'm going to layer up this um, green and white tree and then I'm going to use these hip kit alphabets and I'm going to do my title with them. I'm going to use the word Christmas from that die cut pack and then the rest of my title is going to be helpers. So the title is Christmas helpers because that's what we were. <laughs> it was in this picture it's more my husband. He was pretty much in charge of that Christmas party for our entire squadron. So that was a big deal. He was really busy. Um, and then I kind of helped more with the spouse side of it as far as um, Christmas events for the spouses. So we were pretty big helpers in our squadron when we were in Tucson. So I'm just going to use my quick dry adhesive and put those chipboard letters down and then I will use my ATG to put down the word Christmas. And that will complete my title down here. Then I'm going to go ahead and put these phrases down here too. That one says twinkle and shine. And then this one says happy smiling faces. And I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put my journaling. Um, so while I'm thinking about that, I'm going to use some enamel dots here. I don't know the manufacturer for these. They came in the kit, but they came a little bit later because the first pack that Kimberly got was defective. So she had to send them separately after the kits had already gone out. Um, so I didn't have any packaging with it, but they did come in the kit. So I'm going to use the smaller pink. And I put two right in the middle of the snowflakes, and then I just kind of scattered a few more around and I'll add a couple more before I'm done with the layout as well. So then I decide I'm going to take a little piece of scrap white cardstock and I'm going to cut it into a banner and I'm going to ink the edges of this one as well because I'm going to put it over that tree paper so I really need to make sure that it stands out against it. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling on here. And I'm using a Stettler pen. I got those recently at Walmart, just kind of trying them out. I got like a little multi-pack and um, I like them so far. So I'm just doing my journaling about how my husband and I helped out a lot when we were in Tucson. And then this particular party, he was pretty much the main organizer for it. And then I will put that kind of uh, coming out from the picture right up here. And I'm going to add a couple more of these little pink enamel dots and then that is going to complete my layout and I will have some close-ups coming up here for you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions and if you would like to check out more takes on this sketch you can uh, join us over at the sketches and blog I'm sorry, Sketches in Time blog. I will leave a link down in the description and you guys can play along as well. And I hope you do. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye.